Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Kwesi TV. It's your man Brad Kwesi here this afternoon. Yes, and so um, as I've been telling you on and on, that we'll be engaging with most of our um, stars. Let me put it that way. Um, in our game volleyball, um, discuss and then have chit chat with them, know about their lives and their likes. Today we've got one guest with us, and we are going to have some good 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 vibes with him discuss about his life his volleyball life and a whole lot you understand so join me as i welcome my guest today richard amano say yeah was akwaba yeah yeah you have a call i mean i don't know i one week, one week. Sam, I can't know you. I can't know you. I can't three days be here. I'm not fancy. 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 I'm not i i come from i i yeah, that is where I start my volleyball career, and then I play beach a little, and that is all. If you are looking for Richard Amano, that is Richard Amano. It means Richard Amano seems like volleyball. If that is how you see it, <laughs> <laughs> because this as you everything you are saying is volleyball, volleyball, yes, volleyball yes. attached to Richard Amano, volleyball. Everything about me is just volleyball, yes. beach. Yes. How how did it all start? Um, volleyball, which is that It starts when I was in the, I think, GHS mm. 1 in Ashtari. Okay, yeah, I just saw my seniors playing and I love the game. And then I got closer. Back then, when you are in the Form 1, that is uh, GHS, you cannot be in the school team because the seniors are there already. The Form 2s, the Form 3s are there. So if they don't leave, forget about yourself. <laughs> but when I got closer and I told them I would love to play, they didn't really turn their back on me. They were coming and they told me I can come and from then I started playing volleyball and here I am today. So that is how it all started. Wow. Yeah. So why, why not other sport but volleyball? Because well, back I, then uh, I think I, I even played football a little. I was um, a little bit playing defense and sometimes a goalkeeper. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you give me ball, you wonderful. I was I I, I like football. I think um with with football normally I get to know that uh, those who play defense are also able to become goalkeepers. Yes, and so I won't be surprised. Yes, I was I, I was I was but let's look at it from this angle. What exactly inspired you to play volleyball? And uh, what inspired me actually? Uh I can't pinpoint something specifically, but I don't know. I had this feeling when I just saw them playing, like I want to play this game. Like I just like the game, and that's it. I didn't really see anything that really inspired me to fall for the game. I just, just like, you just love. I just love how the game is being played, and I just wanted to play, mm -hmm. and that's it. And the funny part is when I just got onto the field, I forgot about football. Like totally, I didn't go back there. So it means back then, football was. Yes, I was, I was. I was playing football. I was football. Until, until just why? I didn't was, was it a miracle? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just happened, and I took it from so, there. Like because you know, um, in the in the let me say in the olden days, back then the two thousands, ninety nines, ninety eights, then things. You know, it was all football. You understand? But I I got to know volleyball probably. I think. When I was in GHS going in my primary days, I wasn't actually following volleyball. Mm. When you go to inter schools, then things, you know. But uh, in football, you know, those days, you can hear of Abedi Pele, the lights. And it's everywhere. Is it? Yes, and it's everywhere. Yeah. So, you going into volleyball, starting volleyball, playing volleyball, did you have someone in particular that you were looking up to? Let me say, did you have a role model in volleyball as a then? No. The, the fact is, I didn't, me specifically, I don't really see somebody as a role model. Mm. I can see you and 
you can push me to do what you are doing but not specifically taking you as a role model like let's say i say what you are doing is nice me watching you do so i'll be like ah, if he can do this then let me also do something mm. i can also do something if, if he can do it then let me do so mm. i think there is this um senior player his name is adam <coughs> he's left-handed mm. but back then in australia he was our our, our king of volleyball the he's, superstar there he was good like <laughs> when you watch him play you see that you see sometimes 60 pounds is kind of scary yeah, yeah excellent just just like him so i saw him play and i was like ah, if this man can play like this then me too i can also play so yes mm -hmm. that's it if if i should understand you then it means you are your 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 own role model yes i mean that is one thing about you didn't, you didn't look up i don't look up to anybody but i see you playing probably, i like the way you play probably at, at some point at some point when you realize that um this european volleyball and things you have someone even that i didn't pick anybody as a role wow i i don't know but i have this in me that whatever i see you doing i think i can equally do what you are doing so i don't pick you as my own mode. no i just like what you are doing but i believe i can do what you are doing or even better than you that is one thing about me wonderful when i came to accra i saw mature dance i saw Sedo Ajanakude. i saw them playing i like the way they were playing you know i decided to come to accra basically because i had the opportunity to play against certain uh, players from accra league in form wow. they came for a competition and then i saw them they played their first match i was outside our team was outside so what they were playing i was telling myself that ah. i said it in like in three say oh my mom feel like i'm not the only boy there and they said me to meet me about no i saw hamza i saw uh that uh, nana of immigration mm -hmm. the middle blocker i yeah. i saw all of them now i was like ah. Can you not feel? I do not let you move my mafia. Like if this is what they are playing at Friday, I can also come to a and come and play. Wonderful. So from then, ah, we played against them and it was like fire for fire. So from then, I realized, no, that's it. Yes, viewers, I think it's it's getting much interesting. You understand? I've actually um, looked up to meeting a man in person and then having a good vibe with him this way. And uh, um, fortunately for us, today has been a lucky day. And then. We are having him so um again this is crazy tv and it is um on one with crazy you understand uh, we are having a one-on-one -on -one interview this afternoon with um richard kojo amano a lot of people call him the living legend he's got a series of nicknames personally i call him teacher kojo <laughs> yes because mostly you do train a lot of players on mondays you understand and so I call him teacher Kudo. Some call him uncle. Others, just as I said earlier on, the living legend. Uh, Kudo, let's continue. Let's look at, uh, let's look a bit into your career. You are a volleyball player. You started from somewhere and got here. How challenging was it for Masutuari then to this level? it wasn't that easy because um, my parents back then were not really in support and you can understand back then if mm -hmm. you are doing something your uh, mother your father is not in support of it i do i do remember those days because yeah. i i had one encounter with my mom one day and my my dad nearly nearly caused commotion yeah. so it wasn't easy like that but i made them to understand that this is what i love to do so even if there is something they want me to do, they should tell me earlier on. I'll do it. I'll, I'll make sure I beat the time so that it will not fit into their working time for me to go and train. Yeah. So it, it was like, if we have to go to the farm, you have to let me know early. Mm -hmm. I'll take the lead. Whatever work we want to do that very day, they should just share it among ourselves. This is your portion. So wow. I'll finish fast. Away, I'm going to train. Now, count so, to, to that one. I think that is... To the part of your parents and the likes yeah how about financial uh, yeah challenges? it was in, they were not supporting me so it was difficult for me sometimes i have to go and work like i used to read for people do uh, transplanting for people do gut feeling for people transplanting, transplanting that is rice 
Right. Uh, okay. uh, like when, you, when you are, and, and I'm told when you go to a <laughs> they are they are good farmers of rice. Yes, yes, we farm rice. My father was a rice farmer. Oh, okay. So anything about rice, uh, I'm good at it. So I used to do those petty works just to get money to travel out to go and play volleyball. When the money gets finished, I come back home. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> I work at uh, we had we have this golden exotic company in Ashari, a very big banana company. Yeah. I can go there for a month and then I stop the work, take my salary and travel out. Go and play volleyball. When the money finish, I come back home. So now let let let's look at it from that angle too. You combining the the farming, the house, uh, the uh, let me say household chores. Even back then I was like a lady because my sister was out of. Um, Accra, she was in Tamale, so I was like the lady of the house. Hey, you, I do you, can, you can cook. I do everything. Like I do, I woke up dawn to sweep, to clean the bowls, everything. I do everything. Wow. <laughs> so it means Amano can cook any food. I mean, like let's name prepare. it. Let's name it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> can can you prepare a chicken? I take care. I've never even eaten before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is just my day. <laughs> yes, that is just my day. I love to know about I take care in Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, Coast man. Man. But it's not their yeah. food. I take care, it's not their yeah. Ivory Coast. Yeah. So when you go to Inzima, uh -huh. I never hear about it. That's, that's, like, uh, let me see the Inzima staple food. Okay. 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 It's made okay. of cassava. Uh, I see. This uh, uh, cassava do ya. Yeah. Uh, it's you know very delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. If you get someone who knows how to. Yes, I mean prepare it so nice. well and then, um, wonderful. Now let let's continue with this. Your training routine. Okay, at some point I got to hear, especially when I didn't know of you, a lot of people were saying a lot that Amano, Amano, when he started, he was doing this. This how he was training. This how he was training. Combining your farming and then the household choice and training, how was it like? Uh, I think um, when when you are determined about something, uh, it doesn't really matter the difficulties you go through. If your mind is being made up and you schedule your times very well, I think it will not really affect you because sometimes I wake up dawn and you see me on the road. Sometimes mm. I go and come and come and back to school. Like I was kind of I don't know what really entered me, but I was determined. Like I, I see somebody told me volleyball can take me here, so my focus was like I want to get to the top of volleyball. Like I want to get to that level. You no, know, I have not met anybody who would tell me about anything concerning volleyball. Is it? Like, is it or not about the passion you had? Probably that's game. how I see it. Because I didn't back then nobody. Came from a strategy to play volleyball in Accra. No, and yeah, no, we were all volleyball no one advised you. No, 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 no. Like, really mm -hmm. like that's that. No, like volleyball can that. take you here. Yeah, I've never had something like that back in Australia. Richard Amano himself is a source of inspiration. And yes, listening to a lot of people has indeed shown that he himself is an inspiration to himself. No one advised him, no one encouraged him, no one told him that, Richard, keep up with what you are doing, that you go far, that one day you will play in Saudi Arabia, that one day you will go and play in Rwanda, <laughs> that one day you will be a topmost star in Ghana volleyball. This by far, his hard work has taken him to. US, stay calm, stay cute, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, viewers. Again, it's me here, Brad Kwesi, and I'm, I, I have with me this afternoon Richard Kojo Amano, aka Anko, aka Teacher Kojo, as I usually call him. And you've heard a lot about his life. He being a source of inspiration to himself, that he has to ginger himself, he has to motivate himself, he has to encourage himself, he has to build himself up to this level. And yes. Yes, he has done it that way. Now let's go into it again. Rich, now yes. you've had a lot of tough times along the way from Asuchuare down to Ghana police, 
to most of the African countries, to Asia. Like, how do you handle those tough times? Um, it's not really easy. I could remember back then, even before I would come to play in Accra, I was to play for IPC by then, Emmanuel Presby. I came to stay with one of my auntie in uh, uh, Accra here, that is um, Flat Tough House, opposite yeah. the Marasis Day. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have to leave that place to training in uh, Medina and I come back home. Within two weeks, I have to leave the place because hunger was killing me. <laughs> <laughs> my own auntie, my own auntie. But I think that was their eating routine there. But mm. yeah, I wasn't used to it in yeah. Ashkari. I try to eat any time I want. <laughs> but we wake up in the morning, we'll be in the house the whole day. Uh, maybe 12 before they will give us something like porridge or to eat. And that's it. As for us, for us to try, you wake oh, up and oh, the rice is ready. Anything <laughs> goes. Like, so I wasn't able to stand the whole thing. I have to go back home. My mother saw me and was like, ah, what happened to you? I was like, ah, it's, it's not easy there. <laughs> but all the same, you know, it's, it's life. You need to experience certain things to make certain things happen. Mm -hmm. There were times that uh, just um, getting money from Ashtare to come and play some games in Accra, it wasn't really easy. But I tried to find my way out. Mm. That crazy is not easy. Like it's not easy. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I can. You know, I, I, how was it like? Because how were you able to overcome all those challenges? You know, I, I'm I'm the type of person. Eh, but okay, see, uh, I don't I don't give up on something when mm -hmm. uh, I really want it. Mm -hmm. You know, even recently I had some injuries here and there. That me, even personally, I thought I can't play volleyball again. Mm like how i was feeling i've never felt that way before yeah in any of my injuries so i felt i can't even play volleyball before, uh, again mm -hmm. but at a point i realized no i can't give up let me just try using the shoulder to do certain things and if it is something that is there to stay or it has come to stay to stay if it will go it will go yeah so i was just forcing through and yeah i am today i'm okay so <laughs> if, if i really want to do this thing Nothing changes my mind, no matter what I go through, no matter the pain. I had an injury in my thigh here when I jumped to spike. The moment I want to throw my hand, the pain I feel in my thigh here, <laughs> holy me and God. Back then, if you see, I can take off all right, but before I would swing my hand, the pain I will, I don't know if you ever, you, you've ever felt this sharp pain, like, <laughs> so the touch of the ball becomes slow, I can't explode. But in all, I, even my coaches told me I should just relax. I mm -hmm. told them, no, there are some injuries, they've come to stay. So if you don't learn to play with it, with that yeah. mental yeah. toughness, yeah. then it will break you down. Yeah. So let me just try, force through it, and then, and all of us, the pain is there, but I'm still playing, and I don't feel like there's pain there. <laughs> so, someone once told me that pain is part of our lives. Yes. We, 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 we shouldn't ever regret when there is pain. Believe me, it's true because I remember national assignment. I have some motor accidents here. I never give up. It, 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 pain is part of us, so we just have to learn to live with it when they come. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if, if not, there, I know there are some people immediately they go injured or they get injured. That's the end of their career. Yeah, yeah. Coming back again to that level becomes very very difficult for them. Rich. But with me, I, I don't give up. Rich, <laughs> let, 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 let's divert a little bit. Are you married? Not yet. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? You have a child. Yes, I have a child. Amen. Um, one. One. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is this actually um, by special request. I know. Someone told me that I should ask you. Okay. Like for that person. I don't want to say him or I have one. I'm not married. Okay. Whoever wants to marry me, I'm available. Hey! Hey! Now, now, let's see that man has said the woman. If you want Don't to marry, marry me, me, please kindly go and see his father at house. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't have a car, don't come. Hey! If you don't have a car, don't come. And if you don't have a car, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, you know me. I won't say you slay queens, no, any celebrities movie, a man in particular. 
a lot of them they will, they will say <laughs> when you wear ah, don't come to me me very but you could you man say you know so e man o ba be wa o yo ba no ba be wa na wi ni ka me me ni bi o ba wo so ni bi dia me na o be dey me me pedan me pedan o ka 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 pe ade na ka ka dey dey ni ma be bere o <laughs> All right, so that's just by the way. You just so na, eh, ya sempa kujua mano kwa, eh, osu ompe dani, ompe ka. Anyway, rich. Nti, nti ada beni na, yenye nusu bawa. Ana ose jisio, omba na baza. No, 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 no. Ana wobi. Hopefully, let's let's see, let's see. Um. Next year, next, next year, year, somewhere next year, somewhere next year. Because Because I'll be back somewhere in April, so from there. I'll be to Kenya. I'll be free, man. Hey, you know, can say who who may be my man here. Wonderful, wonderful. Eh, 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 eh. Caraman, your point is not coming. It's a bit too much for me. Because what we enjoy at home, cause I can't be in your job. Wow. Wow, 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 that's nice. Yes, yes. That's nice. That's nice. I think can you be doing come later on? Yes, we need a, 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 a special something. The person will be breaking some news when I watch us here. Yes, you know. But, but listen, volleyball for Nomonia crowd because our living legend, <laughs> Kojo Amano Anko, teacher Kojo, he's saying that hopefully God will in somewhere next year, dear, he will be back here, Pranti. Quata, 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 next year, December, dear. Ti wo a wonim se wo me life no ye wa ji ei wo a wonim se na da bi ama wo wo ka sem kese wo ka sem kese e be fun sir wo a wonim se wo me life na che se enye ba ko because because me ncha me ka sa ni se ah if not not for certain things and come right now come right ba e ba ni se ni ni si o ba na me ni ni wo no me too kwan no nyama be brace si Ah, nanka ya ya ju se anka mi baba ka anka nya mi ya duma. But nya ma bebre si si na it has to be what it is. And I will be a fan of it. To we break here. Tina make answer. But when ya fufu. When ya fufu. Eh that kind of backstage. Backstage. Ala no me ni Tofik Muhammad eh eh interview. Starting a visa is a topic. Who knew you were to that? I feel getting to a certain part is a visa. We need it. I'm not saying backstage. You there, you're too aso. You're too aso. Rich. So um, you've played a lot of matches in Ghana, out of Ghana, other parts of the world. Yeah. Which amongst those matches now, like, we're finding it so difficult, like. When you say match with the why is it then unfair? When you team whether Ghana police and I say what whatsoever, a match being sir. Ah, it was just recently. Hmm. Ah, knockout match against the Air Force. Wonderful. Yeah, that's just the match I can say. Yeah, yeah, the behavior. Even though me himself now me were injured a bit, but I think even me outside the team still tried to. Make things happen, but it didn't work. Mm. Yes, that is one match. Uh, like I said, it was really difficult. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. You know, sometimes it happens. Me, sometimes I understand the game. There are times I won't say. We make me a boy attack. However strong it is, we won't say we better say. Now, if I want to appear boy, you say I know my point. Mm. I understand the game. First, you know, now me tell say I will be like, ah, what is happening? Lord? But I've <laughs> grown to understand the game in that aspect. Say. They are this, sir. Uh, hey, obey it, obey it, be our own. Say, no, this is not your game. You just have to play, and mm. whoever wins, and then you just find your way. So it happens in the game. Mm. Yeah. But I think after knockouts, no, Ghana Air Force, there are things that I sometimes <laughs> I don't want to talk about it because mm. before Ghana will play them again, I think I went to Rwanda. Yeah. I played perfectly well. Mm. When I got back, we had to mass. play. We were to play Air Force again. A day like we are playing them tomorrow, that very day, I started <laughs> feeling that pain again. Hmm. Funny enough, I called my brother and I asked him. I was like, ah, uh, Nico, I don't want for I seriously, I asked him. I, like, I asked him. I was like, 
ah, why is it that we are coming to play Ibo tomorrow and then today my shoulder? I have to go to the guy who was treating me mm. to tie the shoulders again. Which so, 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 so I think let me let me bring in this. In terms of pressure, let's take the Air Force game in particular that you realize that there was a lot of pressure that your your team couldn't cope. You as a leader with the team, how do you I mean cope with such pressures? Sometimes it's it's about communication. You mm -hmm. talk to them. Sometimes that's why we have timeout. When you call them, you sometimes you you let, let them know that you no, know, you watching the game from even outside tells you that this game wouldn't be easy for us to win. But let's just try to do our best. If mm -hmm. we win, good. If we don't, that's it. But look, watching the game from behind, you see that no things are not really going well. But let's just try our best. If it works, good. If it doesn't, that's it. It's part of the game let's continue from that angle mm -hmm. so let's put the the that tough match of the game that you find <laughs> now let's come to a, a, a match that you were so happy like it was a memorable match okay mm -hmm. if i can remember it was um is it all african games qualifications uh, our match against uh, nigeria that's the national yeah. team. Okay. We have to travel all the way from Ghana by bus to um, Niger. Mm -hmm. We got there and I think we slept around 4 to 5 a.m. Which year is that? That was 2018. It said 2018 there. Yes. It's 2018 there. Mm -hmm. That was our first African win against, against okay. Nigeria. Because all the time when we meet them, 3-0, 3-1. 3 0 3 1. So it, it's like something that has come to stay. We know when we are meeting Nigeria, they are beating us. Yeah. But that particular tournament, it was something else. We beat them 3 1. And even the first set, our coach took it upon himself that he made us lose. So let's just go and play our game. But because in that particular tournament, you can't pick my jump service and you to stay on the court. Too. <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> you will not receive my job service and it will stay on the court. <laughs> ah, some of their balls got missing because it goes, hits the top, and I don't know how they move the top. It hits and the team open. Then, the then ball it, means, it means back then, Amano was a different oh, now Amano, but now I'm driving the balls. I'm not hitting the balls back. If you know that that, one. That, does that mean <laughs> that very much you can say that it was? the best out of your best matches yes that's you because at that level national assignment at that level it was it was the best for me because i don't want to come back to the mm. local league no no there were days that i was i was extraordinary mm. but i don't want to look at that side i was i'm trying to look at the international level yeah all right so viewers uh, we are actually getting to the end of the whole thing. I know you are enjoying this um, interview and you love us to continue. But yes, we will not end here. We will continue. But maybe we will not continue for long. So just stay tuned. Stay calm. Stay put with us. We will back and continue with you. All right. Welcome back once again. Um, again, this is on the one show with Kwesi and I have with me here um, Richard Kujo Amano. Um, we've had a lot of discussions, a lot, a lot of things and I do really know that you've enjoyed it all this while. Well. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share the channel link to anyone, as many as you can, to also subscribe and then join this um, um, sweet, 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 sweet interview. You understand? We are having a good time. You are enjoying it. You can't enjoy all alone. Share. Let a friend. To let a friend. To let a friend. Subscribe, like, comment, and also share. But as well, so we're actually getting to the end of um, this interview with Kojo Amano. And uh, we, we have just a few things to I mean, talk about. And I believe you are going to enjoy it. Rich, welcome Robert. back once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, those of you who do not know much about Richard Kodo Amano, he is also a police officer. Oran, can you cry? 
for rank in it. A human eyes on sergeant, 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 could you amano? Or you need to talk. Let's let's look at that. Let's look at let's look at you combining policing and then the volleyball. Man, you remember I told you where you had to tell me about something. <laughs> <laughs> and you really wanted. You, ah! See, I something. There was a day. I don't even know what happened. Even when I'm on duty in Wa, that was mm. my station. I went play volleyball, go back home, shower before I go to my duty post. There was a day I went to play a match. I was very tired, but I have to go to my duty. I got there. Back then, I, I heard that when you take rash energy drink, you will not force there, you know, uh, feel sleepy. Mm. I took like four, <laughs> but he slept. <laughs> and then I got to the duty post. I put headset on my ears like this. That you know, and I put my raffle on my laps like this. And I did this, thinking that I would never fall asleep. <laughs> back with see, that very day, the visiting officer came. You, you, you took my raffle wow left for like 30 minutes before i woke up wonderful he said when he, he got there the way i was sitting he felt like like i, I was somebody who was very vigilant like i, I was yeah. expecting anything but yeah it was like he realized me seeing him i have to pay compliments but i was so sitting wow so he was like what is wrong with this guy so he got closer and then tapped me no movement. <laughs> <laughs> that was it that day. Uh, anybody who understand um, this service work will know yeah. when an officer took your raffle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was it that day. <laughs> I, I just I just want to know <laughs> how you were feeling. Uh, I thought I've just lost my job <laughs> because it's just dismissal. Mm. Yeah, then they will even joy. Wow. Yeah. So combining the two was a bit difficult but i was determined to the extent that i don't allow it to affect me i make time for everything mm. the training and then the police work at the same time so aside volleyball you once said you played soccer yeah then later on you found your your your, your should i say your new lab yes. volleyball yes my baby aside those two football volleyball what other things do you love doing most um i like to sing really i like to dance uh, amana will sing today he will sing and dance today i'm not prepared for that now oh i didn't but, know i would come and dance now let's continue is it, my own it comes like with me come and it comes and go. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you understand it. Maybe I'm bored. I'm not bad now. Bad now. All right, all right. Yeah, and then I love to play um, table tennis as well. Oh, so you know how to play table tennis? Yes. Back then, I was having a board at home in Australia. Wow, I have a board. We can wake up and play. Are you, me and my brother. Are you, are you that? Are you that multi talented? Because looking at where you are going, I won't be surprised if you tell me that you know how to play basketball. No, 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 no. I've never you tried it. For that one, I've never tried Long it. I played handball before. Long tennis? No, I've never tried that. Okay, that's good. Only so handball. I think uh, handball. Yes, I wow. handball. Hey, handball, volleyball, strong. soccer, table tennis. And he has other two. Singing and dancing. That one. I thought I would have become a musician. When I was growing up, like, see, let me, let my me, focus let, was, let me ask you. I'll be a musician. Let me ask you. Who is your favorite artist? Whether God I have or, a lot of oh. a lot. Great Ampon, Great Am Hema Messi, mm -hmm. PC Esther. Yeah, okay. I think this these three are my your favorite. Yes, favorite gospel. How about the secular music? Those ones. I just I just like the music when they come out and it's nice. This well, man, I don't have this man, I know he's called Kojo, <laughs> but I love <laughs> Kojo and Chi's song. No. <laughs> I just I just like any nice music. Any that, nice music. Yes. That Last time I, I saw one of his videos and he was singing this one. Um uh, who, who even sang this? Me 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 do me here do me here. Yes, I get to. Me here no bet too much, so much. You bet you. 
Hey! Uh, let's continue. We did I you. Let's Now, Rich. Okay. So let's look at Richard Amano. Now, I'm sure you've played for over 15 years now and still playing. Yeah. In the next two or three years, where do we see Amano? After that, in the next 10, 15 years, where do we see Amano? In the next two, three years, it should be seen Kojo Amano re Richard retire from volleyball. <laughs> the next two years? Two, three. Two, three years. Uh -huh. Really? Uh -huh, no. Wow. What do you think? Hmm. Okay. So I think I still have more years to play. Oh, well, a, a lot of people personally think you still have more years ahead. You see, you see, you understand? sometimes, uh, sometimes I wish I could play for like 15 years to come, but uh, the challenges are becoming too much, the injuries. And I think it's because I go out to play for a very long time and I come back and I don't get the same conditioning in Ghana here. Mm. It's really wow. difficult. Okay, so, so that, does that mean the next two, three years, you will not retire, but we won't see you play in Ghana? Probably, professionally, I will be going play professional. locally. It will be difficult because it's difficult when I come back. When I come back fresh like that, I go through a lot to pick up again because the conditioning is different. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult. So the next really 10 years? Difficult. Next 10 years. You see, I want to become somebody who will be kind of pushing young guys to that level mm. because i don't just try to play but i try to lobby for chances for the upcoming ones those that are really doing well so i think uh, i don't know if i can get the um, agent certificate or something like that but if i'm able to then i'll be more or less an agent who will kind of be sending players to all right so That's richard kudu amano says that we should pray because he has come to realize that um he has to fight so hard before he, he is able to get the opportunity to play professional outside ghana you know ghana we are playing good volleyball but so unfortunate it is not professional you understand always i've been saying this we are let me say we are playing semi-professional league volleyball league yeah. why am i saying this you know um it is the aim and the goal of these young stars to be recruited into the service teams if I talk of the service teams, the security teams, Ghana police, prisons, army, air force, and the likes. If that doesn't come in, so bad. You understand? So, Amano says in the next 10 years, uh, he's likely to see himself as a volleyball agent, player agent, that he'll be able to, I mean, lace between teams, and the players to i mean get the opportunity to play outside the country as professional volleyball players rich this is another special request <laughs> hey this question this question there could you hmm. should i even see the way they look you <laughs> <laughs> all right so now a special request you mean your name is that my name is that now let, let's look at this um a few weeks few, let me say yes few weeks past we, we come across some pictures and videos separating on the internet that amano is training some players and the likes yes you've you've made your declaration that in the next 10 years you want to see yourself as a volleyball player agent um, do you also intend to be a coach? Coach, uh, on that aspect, I've not really taken that in, into consideration because uh, if I want to be a coach, uh, I just want to be a trainer. A trainer? Yes. Mm. Because uh, coaching in Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, I don't really see the, the benefits. Mm. Excuse me to, to say that because... Uh, uh, if, if if you come to our national side, financially they are not really supported. Mm. So why would I even want to go on a show that I know? But if professionally, then I'm good to go. And and now I have this communication with uh, other clubs outside that they they feel 
they don't they don't just need me in their team to play but they see me as someone who can really push the young ones or the, those players there to do better mm. so not just as a player but like they like my communication and then how i motivate the other players in the club to play better great Let, let's let's probably get to the ending of it but before we we get to that point i want to i mean ask you this what exactly do you think we because you've played in various clubs in and out of ghana you've encountered different environments all together players all together management and the likes all together what do you think we need to do in ghana here if indeed we want our volleyball to get to that top level mm. This question, I think we've been talking about this several times years back, but it seems nothing has been done about it. Like I said, when I was in the Saudi and I saw the All Afghan Games ongoing in Ghana, I was happy because I realized, oh, at least we've gotten a hall that we can use it to play our league, to beautify our volleyball, so that at least players will be able to get videos, good videos, to this. Uh, clubs outside that wants them to come and play for yeah. them. So if we really want our game to get to that level that we all want it, mm. we just need to get a hole. But we have a hole now. How are we making good use of that hole that we have is the problem. I never thought I would come back to Ghana and play in uh, outdoor again. No, 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 no. I was, I was not dreaming at all. <laughs> oh no, serious. I thought the league is going to be organized. Even if we can't play every week in the hall, maybe we can organize like the way Nigeria plays their league. All the teams move if two days we play and then we come back to train and it's it's better. But if we still continue playing outdoor like this, I don't think we'll ever grow. It's 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 really bad that huh. we are as a country. We have good players, good 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 players with good skill. Most of the times when I'm playing volleyball, some of them will be like, "I'm playing beach volleyball." <laughs> like now I'm playing because there are some balls you expect me to play the ball here, and you see me doing this, mm. and I'll get my touch out. Yeah, and they will be like, "Where did you? How did you learn all these things?" <laughs> they get surprised. But if if we don't get a hole to push ourselves to that level. And the, the other countries, I realize their ministries support them financially. Now, but Rich, here is a different thing. Rich, um, with this discussion, maybe it may go far, but let's, you know, talking of the ministries, is there any other thing that we as volleyball people can do aside the ministry that can help us a lot? Yes, we know the ministry have to come in, but is there anything we have to do on then, our own then, behalf. Then, then I think um, probably uh, we are playing league and uh, yeah. we pay participation fee or yeah. is it registration fee? How they yeah. call it? I don't know. If we can try to, I know there are a lot of investments companies out there yeah. that we can at least invest our money into and maybe get profit. If I don't know, I don't know how much they get at the end of the um, payment of the club. Uh, Registration fee. Yeah. That because if they are not helping us, we need to find a way to help yeah. ourselves. And where is the money going to come from? It is within ourselves. Mm. And I don't think somebody would like to bring his pocket money to do all these things. So <laughs> the little that we have, if we can try to invest it, like I think maybe the money will grow and maybe someday we can use it for something better. Rich let's get to the last part of it the young ones are watching what will be your last words for them your advice for the young ones that are coming me the only thing i always tell them is volleyball or sports is not a competition okay <clears throat> i've seen a lot of people coming up you see them coming up you realize that ah, this guy is really doing well mm. But the moment they hear people saying that, hey, acquire with Zell Bow, like this guy too, then they begin to grow fair. They feel yeah. big. And with that, if you don't take time, if your form drops, to get to even that level that you go to, for people to even talk about you, mm -hmm. it will become like you think somebody is doing you somewhere. 
So my little advice to the young and upcoming ones is keep training. No matter how someone praises you out there, whatever words you hear from people shouldn't get into your head like uh, you kind of feel big or you feel yes i'm on top or you, you are playing against let's say somebody like uh, amano or Ami, that you play the ball he couldn't block you there you feel like yes this is me i'm already there <laughs> don't feel that way sports okay. is a game yeah they should just keep doing good focus rising upon rising and then they'll get there some of us i always say we have the links if you humble yourself whichever chances we get will help push you there that's my little advice for them. Rich, back with you. Go on and back with you. You understand him? God will in next year. Uh -huh. uh, God will in next year, we are married. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. We are married. Yes, don't forget. We are married. Did I know about another veteran? Wana. Eh, na say we know. Yebi shia, yebi shia. Dabe. Yebi piye. Ano mo doso. Ano mo doso. Ano mo doso. No, no, the truth is, even no matter how humanizing, humanizing you are, Oh, a mother at 20 crown. Who to me don't win in Apple? There will be this one person I want him to wait there. Yes, it's a pink warrior. Winning an echo and one of the warrior. So out of 20, no, and one of the warrior. Out of 20, no, one of the warrior. I don't know. One of the warrior. And one of the viewers, thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then liking um, and then also uh, leaving a comment in the comment section. And I know how you've enjoyed it. Um, definitely, we are going to catch up with Richard Amano some other time. Probably, he might leave for his new club very soon. That one will break the news um, when we, we get the, 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 the progressive information that we need to, I mean, use. And so, thank you all for joining us. Once again, this is Crazy TV and it is on the one show with Bra Thank you all. Stay tuned. Till next time. Bye.